Hello everyone, my name is Andrew. If you don't know me, you should hit that subscribe button and stick around for a little bit. But today I'm going to be doing the kind of sister video to my previous video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, it's a little bit more positive than this one, but today we're going to be talking about the worst books that I read in 2021. I do want to clarify a few things. First off, I'm not just dressed like a grandpa right now because I want to. I don't just dress like this in my leisure time. One, it's very cold outside. Two, I have a job interview today, so I'm very excited. But anyway, anyway, the other thing I wanted to clarify is that these books are not like bad like they're not the worst books ever i mean well okay <laughs> the title of this video worst books ever okay um uh let me rephrase so it's not that i think the author should stop writing and sucks it's just that these books didn't hit it for me and they weren't my cup of tea they just did not give me what i wanted so just want to clarify that because i know the um girlies on book twitter have been getting very outraged over this it's been a debate but if you don't know any of that i'm not gonna bother with it because honestly like let's just let's just not get into that but today yeah i'm gonna share with you guys five of the worst books that i read in 2021 the ones that i like the least and one honorable mention and let's just get into it none of these books have higher than a three star rating for me so let's start with the three star work our way down to the one star okay so first book on this list that might come as a shocker to some of you but not to others if you've uh, been on my channel all the entire 2021 year then you know that Cersei not my favorite definitely one of my least favorite books felt like I wasted my time reading it and I hate when I feel like that but uh yeah I gave Cersei three stars this one is a Greek retelling by Madeline Miller of the story of Cersei I didn't have much knowledge going into this book about Cersei at all um so I can't even like tell you if it's similar to the mythology or not from what I've heard it isn't that similar but anyway I just didn't like a lot of things in this book the writing was beautiful of course because Madeline Miller just she just writes so beautifully so there were some lines in here that I think were brilliant but all in all I wasn't impressed it was boring the pacing was slow nothing was actually happening I don't think there was even a climax anyway so it wasn't worth all the hype that I had seen about it so I was disappointed and that's why I got three stars next book on this list is going to be a touch of darkness by Scarlett Sinclair I think um I don't have the the book I've gotten rid of it I've let her go because I didn't need that in my life but a touch of darkness was also a Greek mythology retelling about Hades and Persephone and I thought that I was going to love that because I do love enemies to lovers so like what better enemies to lovers is there than Hades and Persephone but when I read it it was just something about the setting of the book it's set in like modern day but people know about greek mythology characters and that threw me off and not even just that because that was okay it was very surface level there was no like deep connection i felt with the characters so i think all in all i think the world was okay but the characters fell flat and when the characters fall flat i can't do it it's a no i can't because i just need that connection i need myself to care about the characters for me to care about the story in general so that's why a touch of darkness was not worth it to me it was just not what everybody on tiktok hyped it up to be but you know it's okay some people probably really loved it and good for them me personally mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> i didn't all right next don't have this book either but it's burn for me by Ilona andrews this one i also gave three stars and it is a adult paranormal romance book the book is about these detectives like this one specific family and this woman is a detective and she ends up having to look for this like really tough um war gang lord i don't know what he is in this town and he's like a big baddie like people are like scared of him and so of course they're gonna have like this romantic tension and that's what i was promised and i don't like mysteries in general like stuff with detectives i don't like that so already going into it i was kind of skeptical and then that detective mystery plot mixed with the really half as like paranormal plot it just didn't work for me and then i didn't even feel any tension there was no romance at all yet and i know the series continues there's a lot in that series but i it just would not be worth it to me to pick up the rest because i did not like the first one and i think that's just a preference thing i do believe that it's a good book for people who like 
the mystery and the paranormal mixture but for me already not liking one of those genres never have actually gotten into adult paranormal it was just really abrupt for me i guess it was just not what i expected not what i wanted so i'm gonna stay away from those books and maybe just focus on you know my fantasy my young adult fantasy my new age all that maybe i just wasn't ready for that because i wasn't I wasn't entertained like the whole book like I swear it was boring like it was boring so that's just that for me um I'm not saying again I'm not saying these authors suck I'm just saying that um those books just I didn't understand them it was a me problem I'm just gonna say it wasn't the book it was me next book that we have that was a three star this is the honorable mention also because I wasn't gonna talk about it but then I realized I wanted to do like the same amount on each book video that I did on the other one. Anyway, you don't care. So I gave Dash and Lily's Book of Dares a three star and I just read this in December. I thought I was really gonna love it because this is a TV show on Netflix and I love it so much. It's a great feel-good Christmas movie. It's a great rom-com. It's so cute. And then I thought I would love the book because it is about book lovers. The whole premise is Lily right here. This one, she um, ends up leaving a journal in the Strand bookstore in New York and she's hoping somebody will find it and she'll be able to meet someone um and preferably a boy and date and you know fall in love because she's looking for that like she's looking for an epic love and so she does that dash finds the book and they end up communicating in it and figuring out if they want to meet and what's going to happen and they just vibe with each other because they're both book lovers they're such nerds they're such like academic type that they literally met through a journal in the strand and meet up like that so that's the premise and it's so it's such a cute premise but the book is actually by two authors and i don't know if each author took a different character but in the book it's told by two different point of views i could not stand dash's point of view because he was so pretentious like so pretentious that i was like please stop talking please no everything that came out of his mouth not even everything that came out of his mouth everything that came out of his head was just too much like i couldn't be in his mind anymore and none of it was something anybody would actually think or say and so lily she was like the complete opposite she's a super bubbly personality she is um very lively and i love that but that's also very opposite for me so aside from loving books i couldn't find too much that i could relate to in lily and she was kind of one of those characters that just does things to push the plot along but it's not something that somebody would actually do so the characters just fell short for me in this one but i do love the tv show it's very good if you want to check that out <laughs> All right, moving on, we got two more books and we have my two star and my one star. Let's go ahead with the two stars. So that book is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This is not a surprise because I feel like a lot of people don't like We Were Liars and I am in that category. I am right there. So I went into We Were Liars low key expecting to love it because I knew people hyped it up and I was like, okay, some people actually say it sucks, but I thought I was gonna like it because I can get behind the young adult old like 2000s books like I can get into those but this one was just so superficial like it <laughs> the the plot twist wasn't even like good it really wasn't the whole point of this book is that there's a group of friends where a tragedy happens and you're uncovering the mysteries of that tragedy and really figuring out what actually happened you're finding out the truth and that was okay it's just that once you get to the actual twist you realize that it was all like for nothing and it doesn't make sense and i know she's writing another book in this world and i just don't get what that's going to be about definitely will not be picking that up if you haven't read we reliers don't waste your money luckily i bought this for like two dollars from a used bookstore but don't waste your money don't go out to run and get it because it's really not it's something you can live without okay i wish i lived without it but hey sometimes you have some good ones sometimes you win sometimes you lose and in this one, we lost. <laughs> Final book I have to show you guys that is um, one of my least favorites from 2021 is one that I'm actually genuinely sad about. And it just shows that um, I can totally think I'm going to love something and then totally not like it. So this book is Guild by Raven Kennedy. I gave this a one star. I think this was my only one star rated book in the entirety of last year. Guild is an adult dark fantasy that is a reimagining of the King Midas story. Um, King Midas, everything he touches turns to gold. So in this book, King Midas has turned our main character, Aaron, into gold. Like she is literally all golden. Um, this is why it's called Guild. And he keeps her locked in a gilded cage 
and she is basically his most precious favored. He has other favorites that he only uses when he wants pleasure. If you don't know what I'm saying, don't read the book. But if you do know what I'm saying, that is just very present in this book. The main thing I didn't like about it was that there was kind of no point to a lot of the abusive scenes in this book. So some trigger warnings because I did not hear any trigger warnings for this book whenever I first heard about it and that is insane to me. The amount of sexual abuse, the amount of harm done to women by men in this book is insane and I literally hated it so much. It's, so, it's one of those books that has so much of that abuse it can't even be good and people call this a romance and that concerns me i am genuinely concerned because this is not a romance this was <sighs> i get like pressed thinking about it because i literally heard of this book by somebody saying it was a romance and i was reading it and i was waiting and it was so not it's it's about manipulative men that sexually abuse women. That's literally what this book is about. I'm not even kidding. And if you've read it, you cannot tell me that it's not about that because it is. And that was something I couldn't get behind. I did research a little bit more and apparently in the next books, the main character um, finds like an actual love interest because some people actually shipped the main character with King Midas and I was like, what do you mean? He's so abusive. Like he, he literally keeps her locked in a cage to watch while he's uh with other women like it's not a romance um just in case you didn't know that's not a romance so i did more research and people were saying yeah that there's a better love interest that's actually good in the future books but this one just didn't really have a point like the plot was moving nowhere and then once we finally got to the point um the book was over and it's like why would i read through so many books when the first one didn't even like wrap up a complete story like it just it just didn't there was no plot there was not any depth to the characters like I said, there was so much sexual abuse throughout this entire book that was unnecessary. And people have said that the author was trying to take this topic and actually like bring it to light and do it respectfully. And like she was trying to do something with it, like make it important and show like the ways that I guess women can rise from it. But that just did not come across at all to me. And I know a lot of people, because I was reading other one stars, they felt the same way. So if so many people are not getting the message, the author is not writing it correctly. And I just don't think that this author should write those things because whenever you're gonna write about something so heavy, you have this responsibility, I feel like, to actually do it with care and get it across the right way. And this book did not do that at all all whereas the other books on this list that i just you know didn't like just for little things this one is one that genuinely bothered me it genuinely disturbed me so yeah but on the other hand maybe i have missed the point maybe it was me but i don't think it was me because i was reading the other reviews like i said and they all agreed with pretty much everything i thought so i don't think it's just me <laughs> but yeah if you ever see this book I did not recommend it to you because I do not recommend it. I don't think it's worth it. And I was almost interested in reading the next ones just to see um, how she changes. But And I realized I could never recommend this series to anyone knowing how this first book starts right off the bat, abusing women, how it finishes, abusing women. Again, like I could never recommend this series. So that was a big disappointment. And I hope that the author in the next books, I hope she did take that topic and do it well and actually did make it come across the page better but this one it didn't so we're gonna end there <laughs> but don't read this book please like don't on that slightly depressive note that's all the books i have on this worst books video um i hope you guys found some enjoyment or at least just realized some books that maybe you could pass on if you didn't like the things that i said and you don't like those in your books either maybe pass on these or if your taste lines up with mine, you probably don't even want to read these. Or if you have read these and you liked them, I'm so sorry. Um, don't hate me because I know there's a lot more books out there that everybody can find in common and stuff. And everybody has different tastes and it's just all about preferences. So those are some of mine that I don't... Well, those are some of mine that are not my preference, but that's all I have to say pretty much. So my social media will be linked down below. Go ahead and give this video a like and comment a black heart if you stayed to the end and saw this part of the video. But that's all I have to say. So hope you guys enjoyed.